Welcome all to my review of the brand new Boba Fett's throne room set number 75326. It is of course the newest set here in March 2022. Well there's other sets that came out this month but this is by far probably my favorite out of the wave. So I'm very excited to crack it open and review it for you guys. Here is the back of the box if you haven't seen it already. Comes with some great minifigures and uh, yeah comes with some uh, thumb tabs so let's crack it open. So before we crack this thing open I just want to admire the new box art that we have here for the book of Boba Fett. We do have Boba Fett himself and Fennec Shand with her helmet here which actually the set does not include her helmet but yeah I did like the book of Boba Fett show. It was it was uh, pretty okay wasn't like my favorite thing uh, from star wars but i i enjoyed it so i'm gonna use a knife here because it's just easier to open up and i don't have to worry about wrecking the box because i do like to have the box in the background for the reviews but yeah let's take out the contents of the box here we have uh, about six bags i think yeah six bags here with a vertical instruction booklet there it is with the progress bar and everything i would imagine yep on the bottom there pretty sweet so yeah i'm gonna build it up and we can talk about the minifigs so yeah as per usual we're gonna start off with the minifigs here so starting first is boba fett this is his new sort of armor with uh, some of the black robing uh you've seen this minifigure before it's the same one from his slave one from last year it's actually my first one so that's pretty awesome but underneath the helmet we do have Boba himself uh, with his tan face looks very awesome also some printed arms which look very very nice I do gotta say unfortunately the jetpack and the helmet do not match the actual armor uh, color tone on his chest plate there the uh, previous iteration of Boba Fett did have the same problem so I don't understand why people are making a big deal about it. I guess that it is less predominant in this one, so I can kind of understand it. It does look really off on this, especially looking at the, especially looking at the jetpack. But yeah, that's Boba Fett. Uh, he's an okay fig, but uh, some miscoloration for sure. All right, next up here is Fennec Shand, and she's not rocking her helmet today. I don't know uh, why they didn't include her helmet in this set, but she does include some really sweet printing on her torso going down to the legs here and some printing on the arms but yeah like I mentioned no helmet she does just come with a hair piece that doesn't really look like Fennec Shan's hair but it kind of works but not really at the same time that's pretty much what we're rocking with uh in this set here she also has a uh a alternate face print on the other side there more happy and the other one is just looking more badass i guess uh, with a smirk there so there is fennec shan she does come with her uh long rifle there and speaking of blaster rifles i forgot to mention that boba fett does come with his blaster rifle right here that's what it looks like sorry i know we we're talking about fennec but i just forgot to mention that when we talked about boba but yeah that is fennec shan she looks pretty awesome my first fennec shan minifigure so pretty happy with it uh but minus the helmet which is pretty unfortunate all right so here we have the thelan dancer which is what she's called on the box but i'm pretty sure her real name is actually Rastal sant she's a pretty neat character uh she made appearances in return of the jedi and i believe revenge of the sith as well as a background character so yeah she has some really cool prints uh she has a really nice print on the back and then a print on the front here going all the way from the top of her torso down to her feet as well so it's a nice continuous print going all the way down which is really nice and yeah she's just a simple little minifigure brand new to the set as well this is her face print it's pretty unique she also has a back print as well where she's uh, more angry she also has a really unique hair piece as you can see here it looks pretty unique and it reminds me a lot of uh the pokemon tangela i don't know just the texture of it just reminds me of that i don't know uh but yeah let's move on to the next fig and the next fig that we have up here is the Weakway Guard. It's a pretty nice figure, and I'm glad that we're finally getting another Weakway. It's been a hot minute since we've gotten one of those. But yeah, this is a really sweet figure. Looks like he has some armor underneath his cloaks there. Yeah, he also has some ponytails there. It goes down on his uh, front of his torso and on the back uh, there as well. It's very nice. Uh, no printed legs or anything like that. Just a simple little Weakway. And yeah, it's really nice. Comes with a silver blaster as well. So here is the Gamorrean Guard. I'm pretty happy with this guy. I really love the Lego Gamorrean Guards. And I'm really happy they included one in this set. Um, here is the comparison of the one from 2012. They look pretty identical uh, except for the legs and the hands. Uh, the legs have more print on the 2022 version. So I really like that for that. And uh, of course, the uh, unique molded uh, headpiece is also very prominent as well. Well, pretty much identical to the other one except for the um, symbol in the chest area there I'm not sure 
why that's different, but uh, there's that. And then, yeah, it's just a really unique figure. It comes with an axe. Underneath the head mold is just a blank brown torso there. Nothing too fancy going on there at all. But yeah, pretty awesome figure. Let's move on to Bib Fortuna. All right, so here is the fat, quote-unquote, uh, Bib Fortuna. They didn't obviously make his, uh, his like, body bigger, but they made his uh, tentacles uh, or head tails a bit more prominent, so I like that for that. Uh, it does look a little... It looks pretty accurate to the one we saw at the end of the... Uh, uh, Mandalorian season two, uh, but yeah, he does have two facial expressions one on the back here more sad uh, Probably right before he gets shot by Boba and then the front here is just happy his prints on his torso going down to his legs are great It's just a continuous print and they the prints itself just look super superb and there's some prints on the back as well Yeah, it's a really awesome minifigure. I'm really happy to have this one Unfortunately, I lost my other Bib Fortuna from 2012 from Jabba's palace there So I can't comp I can't really compare it. So I um, I do apologize for that, um, but yeah, there, uh, Bib Fortuna is a pretty awesome fig, so uh, yeah, let's move on to the last one. So here we have the Quarren minifigure. He doesn't have a name or anything like that, it's just a background character in the set, but I love him. Uh, probably one of my favorite figs in this set. This is, of course, our first Quarren minifigure ever in LEGO, so that's pretty hype. That's why I really love the Tatooine LEGO sets. I don't know, for some reason, we always just get really unique and new alien figs. It's awesome. And yeah, I'm just happy that we finally got a Quarren minifigure. He looks great. Uh, as you can see by the prints here, uh, there's a continuous print going down from the waist there to the legs uh, with his robes there. And yeah, he's also got some prints on the back. No arm prints or anything like that. But the head mold is super unique and it's a little bit rubberized. They, it moves a little bit, which is really cool. It's very unique. And yeah, I think it works really well with this figure. I think they did a superb job with the molding of the head. All right, so here is the actual build here. It's pretty, pretty pretty big there's a lot of features here to get through so we're going to start this off with the tower build here so as you can see it's fairly tall but unfortunately not as tall as the 2012 model but i guess it also had the dome on that so i guess it would contrast better uh with a taller tower but this one is a little bit smaller as you can see uh yeah no dome piece because there's a bit of a controversy with the 2012 version because uh, it looked like a mosque or a temple or something religious so they had to uh, not do that in this version but yeah back to the tower here as you can tell pretty short here but uh, there's a lot of cool details here there is a turret here that can move in all sorts of directions so yeah there's that and then there's also the door the iconic door you can move up pretty nicely I could actually stay up put like normally you don't have to do much but if you want extra support you can push the eye forward and let it rest like that but yeah it does pop out from the front as well uh, that's pretty cool iconic uh, eye droid there I'll show you what it looks like from the other side uh, you, it's just that little Technic piece there that can be pushed in and out and yeah it works pretty nicely and then on the inside of the tower here you can see a control panel that can activate the door and there's also a cup there I'm not sure why it's there but there's that as well and then this is connected on this uh, see-through part here and of course we got a first play feature here you can basically put a uh, minifig there and push it forward and you can make them fall down it's it's okay it's I don't know not actually sure why it's there but um it's fun to do I guess if you're into that sort of stuff yeah just you just flops over it's kind of funny that pretty much is as far as the tower goes it's it's pretty small there's not a whole lot you can do uh, minifigure wise other than the play feature but there's also a spot where you can put a minifig here, but it doesn't really work that well. The blaster kind of gets in the way and you can barely fit the Gamorrean guard there. But yeah, you can do that if you wanted to. You can kind of see him poke his head out there. But yeah, it doesn't look all that good. As, yeah, he's uh, kind of in the shadows there. So yeah, that's pretty much the tower there. It's nothing whole lot fancy going on there. But yeah, we got the cantina part right here. You can fit a couple figs inside there. They can drink some spotchka there and there's also like a food dish on the on the countertop there as well there is uh, a glass there as well on the top there and uh yeah a glass of spotchka and uh yeah it's pretty neat you can have some figs sitting there have a few drinks and then up on top there is a uh, barrel of thermal detonators as you can see i think there's about three in there it comes it's supposed to have two in there but it, it comes with an extra one so i just put it in there and yeah so that about does it for the side builds let's talk about the exterior here it looks pretty nice although it, it would look nicer with a dome but you know it doesn't come with one uh, 
Um, yeah, there's a snake out here for added detail. It's clipped on there with a clip piece. And yeah, the exterior looks pretty nice, uh, pretty rounded off. The color contrast is pretty decent. But yeah, other than that, you can also open the back up here and you can see a whole lot of the interior. Uh, gives it a nice open space here. There's some lights on the uh, uh, up over here. There's also a faucet here, I'm assuming, and a control panel here, presumably for the rotisserie meat cooker type thing here. That's a pretty funny thing. I, I don't know. I like this added detail. I don't think there was this has been in any other uh, uh, Jabba's palaces. I think they had like a little tiny, tiny one with a pan. So I like this uh, rotisserie chicken cooker type thing. It uh, I think it matches really well. Because Bib Fortuna was pretty fat, so he probably cooked a lot, cooked himself a lot of uh, some some food here. There's also a table with a canister of spotchka here, and a box of the extra bones from his uh, chicken dinners. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's also a table here with some extra goodies like a, a wine bottle or something, and then a, a pot here. So yeah, there is the interior, a part of the interior that can be just be opened up just like that. But yeah, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this set which is the actual throne room here. These are just the extra little doodads here. They can be clipped onto the side and just be opened up as you wish as well. So here is the throne. I'm actually going to take it out real quick here because there's some extra stuff inside that I want to talk about here. There's a uh, little canister here. I think Jabba used that at some point. Uh, I can't remember what he used it for. But yeah, there's also a little compartment here for some blasters and I'm assuming uh, some credits or maybe some Beskar ingots. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, there's also a little barrel here with a blue crystal. I'm not exactly sure what that is. You can use that, but you can leave that up to your imagination. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there is inside. It looks pretty nice. It's not very spacious. It's hard to kind of get your hands in there and do things. But yeah, here's the actual main part of the set here, which is the throne. There's a, there's a pretty cool feature here in which you can... Uh, actually just launch a Bib Fortuna or whatever figure you have on there. You basically just flick down this lever and down he goes. Just like in the show, I guess, at the end of the Mandalorian Season 2. He just dies and, you know, falls over. And it's kind of cool. I, I like that little added detail. But uh, yeah, the throne itself is just super immaculate. I really love the design of it. And the sticker detailing is pretty on point as well. I really love the Rancor stickers. I think I put them on pretty nicely. And yeah, there's also the rounded piece right here for the back of the throne. And there's some stickers on there too. A pretty low amount of stickers in the set as well. I was actually pretty shocked by that. Uh, the stickers that, that are here are just the ones you can see in plain view, like literally. These ones up here and then on the throne. It's pretty nice. I was expecting a lot more uh, because the last set I reviewed was the Dark Trooper Attack and that had so many stickers in it at just for a small price tag. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the low amount of stickers, but yeah, the throne itself is pretty nice. It does, of course, detach from the uh, palace itself. You can just pull on it and boom, just like that, it comes out. But yeah, there's some little doodads on the side. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but there's a glass here. And I think there's a seat here for whoever you want to put down there. And yeah, it's a pretty nice little throne. And there's also the grate here to look down at the Rancor pit, which we don't have yet. Who knows? Maybe next year they'll add a Rancor pit to add onto the set, but it's not very likely. So yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes my review of the brand new Boba Fett's throne room. I can't stress enough. I definitely recommend this set if you are a big fan of the book of Boba Fett or just generally a fan of Boba Fett's palace or or just Jabba's Palace for that matter. It's basically another Jabba's Palace set. And I, I love it. It's a great set. Packed with amazing minifigures. The interior design is great. If I have to rate this, I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a superb set. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. If you are in the market for a sort of a pa Jabba's Palace sort of set. And it's just a really fun build. All around, just a great set in my opinion. And as always, I'm very interested to know your thoughts of the set as well. I'm pretty sure the, the LEGO community is mixed on this set. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Uh, so yeah, let me know down below and also subscribe if you haven't already while you're down there and like the video. Uh, that's all for me for today. I'll be back with more videos, which speaking of, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm always open to uh, your opinions on what videos I should make next. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.